So homeowners, uh, if you are keen in uh, knowing which unit or stack in Water Gardens I'll choose, uh, you get to learn that by the end of this video. So my name is Minan, uh, I'm actually uh, applying Feng Shui to assess all these uh, homes because I feel that uh, a home is a very uh, sacred place uh, for each family to be able to bond and also uh, achieve their targets and goals. So that's why uh, that got me to uh, start my pursuit of uh, learning Feng Shui. So for Water Gardens, uh, how did I get to chance upon it was, uh, it was through a Facebook ad and I saw it and I decided, hey, why not let's go and take a look, right? So in this video, uh, I'm just going to share uh, how I chose uh, certain stacks okay of course uh, simplifying certain stuff not over complicating things but if you're new to the concept of feng shui right uh, i wanted to share with you uh, feng shui is just like electricity right uh, we definitely need uh, electricity wall socket on the wall and also an appliance and your home is the appliance because your you will buy various electrical appliances to be whether cook uh, boil water you know so that is where your home comes in as the various appliances and we want to make sure that there is electricity from the external environments right because the ex electricity also known as the feng shui comes from the external environments so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to walk you through and let you know which stacks am I choosing so let's hit straight. I'm going to just zoom into the site plan. So you can see the site plan, uh, Water Gardens is located along Cranberra Drive. Uh, in order to determine whether is there so-called this feng shui or so-called electricity near uh, or near this Water Gardens development is definitely of this concept called the presence of higher grounds and lower grounds of course i have been uh, to the site and also did a walk uh, you can follow the timestamps uh, if you want to find out uh, where is the higher grounds or the lower grounds during my site visit but of course on this uh, video right now i'm just going to show you where exactly uh, it was where the higher ground and the lower grounds are okay so Higher grounds is here. Okay. Higher grounds. And the lower grounds is at the bottom of the unit or the development. So, chi flow or so called electricity flow. You know, electricity flows from a high potential to low potential. Likewise, for chi flow. It flows from a higher ground to the lower ground. Thus, I would like to choose the units which welcome this electricity flow or chi flow with open arms. So, here comes my selection. Stacks that I will choose 39, 33, 31, and 29. So what happens to the other stacks that don't have, right? You still can design the interior spaces of the other units in the other stacks. Um, I, what I wanted to do uh, perhaps for the com community who is uh, listening to this video right now, you can follow the instructions found in the video description below uh, to initiate a complimentary consultation, right? Because I just want to uh, help you as much as possible. So right now at Water Gardens, walking the ground, definitely the left side of the entire development right, is definitely on higher ground because you see that it goes down. So even though the hill at that side, just in front of this image right now, it would be like flattened, but you still can see that the left side of the entire Water Garden development is on the higher ground. So since you know chi flow goes from higher ground to lower grounds, 
uh, this is what I'll be taking note. Right now they're still piling work, so this is I'm raising my voice. Continue watching. Okay, so right now I'm recording on a Google map, right? Currently standing at this particular point where the blue spot marks where I am. So that's the highest before I start going down a hill. Okay, so I'm just gonna go, continue to go one round uh, all the way down the main road. Yeah, I'll turn right and walk back to Canberra Plaza. So basically, uh, that wraps up my entire tour around the water gardens. Okay, um, because I walk around the whole place, uh, that gave me a clearer idea of which block I wanted to choose. And as at the river, uh, you can see there's a huge river there, right? So one of the things that happened was just looking, understanding the flow of the water. Where is it coming from? And apparently it's coming from the side all the way in. So this is another source of like chi uh, being brought in along this uh, river. And because if you look at the back right now, of course, yes, uh, there's a barricade up there. But definitely that side is a higher ground. So that gave me a better idea of which block I'll be choosing. So right now I'll be just heading back and it has been a nice walk. Even though it's kind of sunny, I'm sweating right now, but I enjoy this walk. If you have some other developments in mind, uh, you can always uh, leave the name of the development in the video comments and I will respond to you.